right here. If you can, that would be amazing. So I'm going to jump right in here. Uh, yes, no jeopardy. This is happen. <laughs> I guess that'll work. As long as it doesn't. Yep, yep. So we're not leaving the YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, out. We're live now on both. Okay, great. Let's jump right into this. We are overdue on getting this artwork going. I thought Ooh. I could get it done in 30 minutes, but my word, it spent 20 minutes just doing the background. Um, Lolly, hey girl. Ann Fowler, okay, hold on, hold on. She wrote, she wrote in here. It says, I was wondering why my husband has been popping in when I was watching your lives. He said him and my son tried to get in touch with you and say happy anniversary with the summer loving painting. He bought it for me. Yes, he did. Yes. I wasn't gonna say anything because I, I didn't know if it was. We a didn't know if you knew, Janet. But, yeah. Yes, we knew that the summer eleven painting was coming to your home for your anniversary gift. Happy anniversary! I hope you had a great weekend, Janet. And tell your husband thank you. We appreciate it. Matt was gonna get that framed for you tomorrow, and we'll get it shipped out this week. So I am using the Iris Pro. Um, it's the mop brush and it's fabulous. I'm just putting the background on. I'm actually using paper. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I thought I would do a bouquet of lilacs tonight. So this is the this is what I'm using. I get this at Hobby Lobby. YouTube is still lagging a little bit. Well, that is so odd. I apologize. It's taken us forever to get on here tonight. We did actually come on at 8.30, but that didn't work out so well. So I am gonna actually do kind of like a line and get, get this going. I feel like I'm, I'm really late now because we were- You're good, you're good. No, I'm feeling kind of sweaty. You're good. I'm feeling a little like- you're, Hey, you're good. You just, hey, look hot at me. And sweaty, babe. Look at me. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe, I'm fine. Breathe. Okay. But yeah, Facebook has got a great picture. Okay. Well, three times charm. So I'm mixing in my black. The blue that I'm using right now is the uh, Thalo Blue. Okay, this is the one that I'm using right now. And I thought I would work on some lilacs. I can get that a little closer if you want me to. Um, for YouTube or yeah, Facebook? YouTube. Yes, I am. Yeah, Facebook of oh, YouTube could probably prefer to come closer if you can shift it. You have to move Abby. She's right. And so I'm taking my black and my blue. I'm just going to kind of make kind of a line here as if it were a table. I hope everybody's had a great weekend. How's it was beautiful. Look? Watched some baseball yesterday and those of you yeah, that looks great those of you that were watching last night You saw Matt's artwork his his uh, what'd you call your your acrylic artwork, baby? Like a masterpiece? Your, was it a masterpiece? I think I think it in the, that, in, in the uh in the paint world. They think they call it masterpiece I don't know. I've had so many messages people calling me all day from New York. Oh my god. Art schools and you know, it's just it's been a whirlwind. I'm gonna be honest. Really? With you. Yeah. And what do they what do they say when they call you, Matt? They say, Is this the Matt Woods? And I say Abstract artists. I say maybe who is this? Right? You know? Yeah, yeah. And then they, you know, they're like, I'm so-and-so Gerard from the Art Institute of Awesomeness. Did you just say Gerard? Yeah. Is that a good name? It's very good, babe. That's yeah, interesting. I'm, my name's Gerard from the Art Institute of Super Cool Awesome Paintings. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, whatever. I got to go because my wife's calling me. I got to make dinner or something. <laughs> And so, wow. yeah, wow. it's been a busy day for me. So busy day, but. Well, I'm sure glad you did that abstract art with me last night. You guys, if you missed it, day three, Matt learned how to do an abstract. And I guess I'm such a good teacher. He had some special calls from the Art Institute of Awesomeness. Is that what you called it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a new thing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of... It, you have to kind of be in the click. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. realize I was in the click till today. Oh, yeah. just automatically in it. Yeah. I'm using, guys, I'm using the um, three quarter inch Iris Pro Angle Shader. That's the brush I'm using. So you can see right now these are all clean, but I'm getting them dirty for you guys. It's my only set of my new brushes. <laughs> 
there are the turquoise iris, the, the lighter blue turquoise is the hobbyist, and then the pro series is the dark teal with the shimmer. I used the mop on the background, so the retailers are able to order them as of today. So if you have a Paint Pixie retailer, or if you are one, you may start ordering those today and they will start shipping on Tuesday. Thank you for those of you that hung out with us. We tried to figure out the internet situation. Yeah, Facebook, our YouTube is still freezing up. Oh, so we're having, I'm so... having YouTube issues. YouTube might have, might, And it might have been causing StreamYard issues too, so. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But we're just gonna go in and do the best we can. We're gonna be on every single day, October, November, and December, and we will skip Thanksgiving, we will skip. Let's see which one I want. Guys on YouTube, uh, I appreciate you coming back. If you can get on uh, a much better, clearer picture on Facebook, um, if you'd like. If not, we appreciate you anyway. We appreciate you. Jana Fowler said she's proud of me for, you know, she, for the coming out party of the Matt Woods era oh, of painting. Wow. Yeah. Thank sure. you for that, Janet. So I'm going to do like a round vase. So you guys, thanks for the support you gave Matt last night. Yes, I do appreciate that. Lots of kind words. It's always, always nice. Oh, I want it bigger. Let's go bigger, guys. You want to go bigger? Yeah. Let's go bigger. And can everybody see? Like, I've never done this before, really. I think the last time I did anything like this, I was painting my hair with DIY paint and Debbie Beard. So I'm going to load this up with with um, vines and and stuff, but I'm just kind of getting the background. Derek would like to know what the next show is. Derek, I'm working with an agent at this point. Oh, my word. Um, you know, we're getting a lot of phone calls from um, news stations, uh, oh, my word. art galleries. So, you know, um, we're still working that out, but I promise you'll hear it first right here. On the Facebook. Wow, and Derek. Wow, Derek. Derek, Derek. Derek is a good dude. Yeah. I like Derek. Derek Watt. Yeah, good dude. Um, All right. So I'm just out. With him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think that, that was a that was a nice compliment. You met her. And that was a nice compliment. Yes, but you also met Paulette. We met her in McKinney. Um, she walked outside with us. She had the turquoise hair up front. Right here? Yes. Do you remember? No, I do. I she's do. precious. Gosh, she's so sweet. All right, so I'm just putting in a vase. I'm going to fill it up with stems, but I just kind of wanted to get that laid out. And then I want to fill it full of lilac. So can everybody see, or is this awkward? I really cannot tell. No, no, no. You're good. Don't, don't, don't. I mean, they're at a weird angle, right? Because because I'm I'm actually I'm wanting to turn this this it'd way. Probably be better if the angle was like what you're, you know, if you move that around. Yeah. Yeah. Then you, you might mean, have to lay on your belly and paint. That would be weird. Well, I can't just I not lay on my belly. Is this better for well, Facebook? Well, you would have to like come all the way around to like where you're facing it. Yeah. Nope. This. Yep. yep. Gotcha. Well, that's awkward for me, but it's okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Brilliant. Mr. Pixie's going to have a special art studio for me in Sedona. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Jerry, yeah, I appreciate you. Matt, you didn't even act surprised at that. Well, he called earlier. Oh, I really? was looking for specifications on what I needed. Oh. So I told him I'll just probably buy the lot next to him. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that sounds so real. Sure. So the colors that I have right now are the Verdian hue. It's a green and so pretty. And uh, this is the chromium oxide green. And then this is the phthalo green. So I'm showing the brands and the colors. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to dive in with some green stems and let me see, I have three greens. When I do stems, I always like to make sure I have three, the bright one, the medium, and the deep tone. And I load my brush full of pretty much all of them. Oh, these brushes are getting dirty and I, I want to like, 
Isn't that silly that I don't want my brushes to get dirty, Matt? It is pretty silly, especially being silly. Honest. Yeah, it's pretty silly, but they're new, you know? So I'm just gonna get this in here. I'm gonna deal with this in a minute. But... Okay. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. So did, you went out. You went outside painting today, didn't you? I did. Did you have fun? Oh, I did. The birds were singing. The wind was not even blowing, so it was just beautiful. I'm just putting the background here, kind of laying out my my shapes here. So is this considered the background? Uh, yeah, I'm building my layers up. Building I guess you layers. Can say that. Are you going to be blaring? Blaring. That's your job, buddy. Bla and yeah, I, I've perfected it. But That's your I'm job. I'm curious if you're ever going to tackle it. Oh, I just, I just don't know if I could, honey. You've made, you've made such a, such a good impression. It'd be really hard for me to, to top your, blaring. I think last night you created blixing. Blixing. Yep. We start. We. You seen it first here last night. What if they missed it? Oh, they're gonna have to go back and watch the replay. I mean, to recreate that last night was, I mean, that would be magical. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you're full of it? I'm curious. No, no. I mean, most people um, yeah. enjoy the stories. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're going to work on that right now. But I am just framing that out. Now let's get in. I'm going to get my purples and my lilacs and the ones I love so much. So let me clean that up. And my brushes are dirty. Of course they are. Okay, I'm going to get a deep navy. I've got my powder blue. I've got my deep violet. Brilliant purple and a magenta. I'm gonna get them all out and make some beautiful shades of lilac, but I'm gonna start with the darker colors first. Okay, we have a Carol McKinney. Hi, Carol. She says, hello from Maine. Hi, from Maine. What's the weather like in Maine? Please tell us. Please let me know what it's like. Uh, Llewellyn, Llewellyn, uh, yeah, Llewellyn. Llewellyn. Got many brushes wet today, Dion. I love them. Oh, thanks, girl. She colored her hair teal to match the brushes. I'm sure that was the only reason why she colored it, Matt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's that for? The mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That means you're not listening to me. Do what, babe? Is anybody watching? Um, we have, yes. We have some folks on tonight on the books. Now that we're, YouTube. now that it's working, right? Yeah, now that we've kind of got it cleared up, Facebook is still having some issues. I apologize. Facebook is? No, I'm sorry, YouTube, YouTube. Okay. all right. Uh, which one are the lilacs? Lilacs are the purple ones, right? They're purpley, which would be lilac, yes. Okay. So I'm going to get my filbert brush. Okay, I also am going to use the round. The filbert is called the favorite from the Hobbyist Collection from Paint Pixie. And then the Iris Pro is a round. Okay, those are the two I'm going to use to get started. I'm going to start with my deeper color, which is my navy phthalo. Okay, I'm gonna also kind of mix it in with my violet purple. I'm just gonna start going. I have to turn this, I can't do it like that. Is that too awkward for people? Lolly says, that didn't help Matt, but thanks. <laughs> What'd you ask? Uh, lilac, what, what's a lilac? And I said, is it purple? Oh, is she asking me or <laughs> you're asking, asking me? She was asking. Oh. I painted them in uh, the YouTube group and I had so much fun, but I thought I would take the vase off center and do this bouquet just a little bit different. So I'm starting with the darker colors in the background and then I will build upon with my lighter shades of purples and pinks and lilac. So what technique are you, uh, are you doing right now? What would this be called? This is me trying to do a left-handed, left which is pretty impressive. It's a left-handed lilac. Since I'm right-handed. What's the difference between a left-handed lilac and a right-handed lilac? <laughs> There's frustration in the left-handed one. <laughs> okay, so more frustration is, is done in the left. Yes, right? yes. I'm going to have to switch it back, babe. Okay. Um, those of you that are just popping on, I just want to tell you, you have like three hours to get into the Creative Connection before I close it down. I left it open uh, an extra day 
for those of you that had messaged me and said you needed to join on the third. Uh, so I wanted to give you extra time. But tonight at midnight, I will be closing the Creative Connection. It is my membership group that I've had open for over three years. So there's quite a big library in there. Gavin had a good one. He said, left is abstract, right is realism. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Way to go, I might, I, I might, maybe I should paint that's better a, abstract if a, I use That's a great mind. observation, actually. I, I really like that. Do you know Papa, Mag, and Irene have been married for 32 years? I did not. That is fantastic. Congratulations. Jessica Smith says, using your left hand is a great way to get into the creative flow. Well, I am using it because I'm trying to angle my... I can't even speak right because I'm so, woo. you know, I use my left hand all the time when I paint on furniture. furniture. Yeah, I'm yeah. always painting with my left hand, but this is a lot different because I'm having to tap, tap, and this is different, but, and I'm, I think I might even be sweating. I'm pretty sure I'm sweating. So I'm starting to dip my violet and my phthalo blue into a little bit of the brilliant purple just because I can. So Derek said, unless you're left-handed, Matt. So left-handed is realist for left-handed. And then when they paint right-handed, that means it's, right? Yeah, I think that's what I'm not saying. even lifting. I am so having to concentrate on this. And that looks like junk. Mm -hmm. Let's turn that around. Sorry. Lolly, 34 years. Oh, congrats. Wow, that's a big league right there. Matthew, how many years have we been married? Um, 20, 23, two, which is it? Whatever the right one is. Hmm. Guess you won't know. I think you should count. Okay. 20, 22, 22, 22 years, 22 years. So this is acrylic paint. Yes, not this is DIY. Acrylic. No, none of this is DIY tonight. I just felt like painting. This is paper. We're doing some different angles and we're learning. So next time we do this, we'll have a little bit better camera angles. Well, I wanted to use my favorite. Sure, sure. I but we can next brushes. time we can do a little bit better camera angle for the folks watching, and then hopefully YouTube would be better. Uh, Lisa Dixon is also 22 years. Lisa, when's your anniversary? Ours is August. We got married somewhere on a beach. Uh, Linda Anderson's gotta love Matt. Thank you, Linda. Love you too. <laughs> oh, Lolly, Lolly's August 23rd. Hey, we're August 12th. August, yes, that's what I was gonna say. Uh -huh. August 12th. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep, January 17th, I think. <laughs> um, I hope I say this right. Uh, Brunel? Brunel? Bri, Bri, Brielle? Bri, Brielle. That's Brielle. Brielle. Hi, Brielle. How are you? How did you learn to paint upside down? I didn't. That was my first time. Derek's 30 last month. Congrats. Oh, congratulations, Derek. Nicole Flynn, 26. Look at you guys. Sharon Asher, 46 years. Sharon. Wow. Oh, Rob. Excellent answer. I'm going to take that as my own. It's just a number. Every day is our anniversary. Oh. Uh, wonderful answer, Rob. Betty is 34. Congratulations, Rob. Um, Sharon, I met you. I would have never thought you could have been married that long. Callie, 28, 21, uh, May 26, 57 years. Barbara Hope. Barbara! Congratulations. Congrats! Ah, I know Barbara Robins, Hope. Robbins, 30 years. Janet Fowler, uh, a few months before. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. 10 years. Mm hmm. She said that today. Yep. Pat Cook, 48. So is this a terrible angle or something? No, it just, I think it would be better that like, for example, if you were, you know, the camera would be like over your head. Oh, well, and yeah. And so then they see more of a, what you see. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Karen Brown says, my grandparents were married 72 years and my parents were 64 years. That is fantastic. That's so wonderful. Honey, I hope you're married to me that long. <laughs> Deanna St. James Van Ruden. Hi, Deanna. She's on here tonight. Hello, hello. I met her the other week, too, honey. I met her last weekend. Her daughter actually won the piece I painted. Oh, nice. Yes, her daughter Jessica is such a beautiful soul. She won the piece I painted. Yes, so sweet. Well, that's awesome. Right now, I'm just building the lighter colors upon the dark colors. So we've got to get more lilac involved here. I've got powder blue, and I'm still using my favorite for all of these little petals. I'll come in after that, and I will use um, what we're calling the icon. Okay. Uh, Tim Pam Dudley. Hi, my, Pam. My dad just turned 90, and my parents married 65 years. Oh, that's just so sweet. Guys, I also wanted to tell you, if you're interested in the early bird, the free video that comes with your journal subscription on how we package our paintings. Uh, Lolly a, Lolly says, is this the hobbyist set? Yes. I'm using the hobbyist, but I did use the angle shader, which is the Iris Pro. But I used both of these, the little edge, and now I'm using the favorite. And they are available to our retailers today, which means they're getting closer to being available to everybody that's not a retailer. I'm using my powder blue, my white, and I'm still mixing it in with some of my magenta and getting all of those delicious colors in. But we've got to get our darker on there and then start building up our light colors. And then we'll be throwing in more green leaves and having them pop out and making it look a little more 3D. 3D, I like 3D. You like 3D? I think you like this painting, don't you? Okay, he didn't answer, interesting. Yeah, no, no, it's great. Okay. I mean, it, you know, it kind of competes with my abstract last night, you know, but, you know, but, uh, you know, but, you know, it what is what it is. do you mean it competes? Yeah. It, You're saying that it's only a little bit as good as yours? It's, it's getting there, Dion. It's it's getting there. You Look know, I'm using my left hand. I am good. You should really, really start doing what? that a little bit more often. They call that ambidextrous. Yep. Yes. Someone asked me that recently if That's I was. That's a big word. Well, I've been doing that a lot on my furniture, and they've asked me if I was, and I thought, I don't think so. Uh, Callie Ratkovich. Hi, Callie. I, I said that right. She's new to the Creative Connection. Dion, where do we learn more about your journal? So if you go to the turquoisecyrusjournal.com, that's where you subscribe, you find out more about it, and you also can submit. Anybody can submit issue two. We will have it out in January. Issue one is locked down. We already know who we're, who we're featuring, and those people have been notified. We publish the magazine to all of the subscribers in 13 days, so brace yourself. It's so good. Cammie sent me a rough draft yesterday. It's only halfway finished, and it is so good. Lolly, Lolly, <clears throat> she kind of won up me a little bit. She said she spelt ambidextrous. She knows I can't spell ambidextrous. Thank you. That's fun, Molly. I'm so <laughs> glad you did that. She's really good. She's so sweet. Uh, Derek Carlton, Matt, have you converted over to abstract now? Derek's a good question. It's an honest question, and I think it deserves an honest answer. No. No. He hasn't. He doesn't understand <laughs> it. My brain just can't get it. it just, I'm, I'm getting better with it. It just, it's just hard, it's just hard for me. I, I'm, it's not that I'm closing out, you know, I'm not going to shut it out. It's just tough. It's just tough for me. And I don't know why. I think it's just, my brain just doesn't work that way. I'll tell you why, Derek. It's tell hard. Me. Abstract is a lot harder than any other kind of art form, in my opinion. And math's just not cut out for it. I know my limits, Derek. And that's. That's really, really stretching out on my limits. But the thing is, is I try, right? You did try. You, you did try. a great job. 
and it's fine. You didn't take instruction very well, though. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I did. I thought I, I took thought, instruction I, pretty I, well. I don't think you did. Yeah. So you're saying that's my own creation, not what you told me what to do. I handed you hmm. colors. I hmm. handed you colors, and you did a good job. <laughs> you know, I said, here, how's this color? But I acted like it was your idea, but it was really my idea. Because I thought if I could direct you in the right colors, you could at least get that hammered out. And a lot of people really did like your color combinations. This is so fun. Has anybody else, like these may not look like lilacs to you guys, but they're so fun. Thank you, Derek. Yes, trying is the important thing. And believe me, I've tried a lot of things and I have failed and that's okay, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But now I know. Of course it's okay. Yeah, of course it's okay. This favorite is perfect for these petals. Hey Holden, would you like to come in here? Hey and say Holden. No. He's making no. noise over there. What you need, Bubba? Let's see what's going on. You know, we're just chilling with our friends on the books and the tubes, you know? And uh, Dion is, your mother, is painting a mm -hmm. nice painting of lilacs. Lilacs, what's that? Lilacs are a particular type of flower. You're going to make me look smart, aren't you? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> they are typically purple <laughs> to light purple mm -hmm. to medium purple to dark purple. Okay. Mm, he is so painting. And attention. they grow outside. Okay. Mm -hmm. They need water and sun. Okay. Do they need soil? Sometimes. Okay. Most generally they need soil. It's better to have them in soil. Okay. Uh, generally acidic soil. So they can really flower really nicely. Mm -hmm. To use big words. Right? Elegantly. Elegantly. Ooh, yes. Holden. Way to go, Holden. Man, Look that, at you. That, that, that uh, phonics is painting off. Oh. We'll be off in a few minutes, baby. All right, so I'm going to go back in with my greens while that's setting up. Oh, lilacs grow on a bush? Yeah, a lilac tree. Oh. We Is it that. a bush or a tree? No, we knew that. I was testing you guys out there. We knew that. Yes. For sure. Val Ward said they are elegant. Yes, they are. Very pretty. Uh, Gavin, uh, Holden is our son. He's 15 years old. Got his driver's permit. Just got his driver's permit, Gavin. So he is ready to start driving. Extremely handsome. Oh, wow. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Extremely handsome. Wow, Matt, you're rubbing off on him. <laughs> Lolly Lolly said congrats, Holden. Thank you. So, so there's a bit of a debate if it's a tree or a bush. I'm going to say both. I've heard it go both ways. Yeah. yeah. Holden, Google it. Holden, why don't you Google that up? Phone on you. What? You don't have what? your phone on you? Are you having a, you have a What's fever? matter? Is that it's why charging. you're here? Oh, it's charging. Oh. Okay. So I'm just adding in more greenery here. And then I'm going to add in a couple of smaller lilacs. Sharon Asher, are you going to finish this? By that, I mean frame or mat. Oh, I don't know. Are you going to frame it for me I like can, you would? I can, if you would like. I'm having such a great time. I have no idea what time it is. I know, Lisa Dixon. A teenager without their phone. I, that's what I asked if he was running a fever or if he lost it. But he said it's charging. So now I'm back to the little edge. I have some other brushes here that I'm going to use for more details. But I haven't had to touch any of them yet. So far, the favorite and the little edge are working perfectly for me. I'm just dipping in all three shades of the greens and highlighting with some white. Okay, Sharon, she says lilacs can be trained as a tree, but it sends shoots from the base like a bush. Okay, so it could be both. So it's a hybrid. It's, it's an in-between. Nice, it's ambidextrous. Amphibious. Oh my word. Amphibious? You guys. It's amphibious. This is what I live with, <laughs> people. Boy, Be jealous. This is what I live with. Huh. 
It's a it's a bushy. I am loving it's a bush it. So and a tree. I mean the the, the vase needs tree. some work, you guys, but I'm having the best time with you all. It's a green. Karen Brown says they can go up to 25 feet tall. Oh my, we need one of so those. Can we get think, a lilac? Well, so people think they are a tree, but they're really a bush. This is some really good, I'm learning. Holden, you can go tell your your uh, biology teacher about this stuff. I don't really think he cares about this. Uh, I would definitely tell him. You should tell him, Woods. Roshonda, Rosh 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 light. Roshonda, light. So will you be, will you be seeing you, will you, Will we be seeing you teach your son abstract? No. Oh, come Holden, on, you know Holden. What Look what I did last night. I did that last night. That's pretty fun. Holden. No. Why are you so shy? Are you just too good for us? Hmm. Are you too good for the, the community, Holden? Hmm. No comment. Lilacs no do comment. grow in Oklahoma, Aaron Norris says. Thank you, Aaron. I didn't so actually know. So we need to get one, apparently. Can we get a lilac tree for outside? Tracy Lopez says they need a hard winter. And we, we do get those. So we could probably have a nice pretty lilac tree. Or bush. Excuse me. Okay, so I need to turn this. We're, we're, we're coming along, you guys. Yeah, you I don't go. want to keep you too long. Is that better? Yeah, they kind of get... Yeah. Lisa, hi from Haley, Idaho. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. We are just playing and doing something a little different tonight. I've got 94 or 96 more days of doing lives. So, I thought we would try something a little different tonight. Rebecca says it's pretty. Thank you so much. It's getting there. So what are you going to do? Are you going to do anything on the other side of it? Um, I'm going to do maybe some shadows. Some shadows? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little bit of color. Interesting. I'll probably use my palette knives for that. I'm going to get a little bit more pink in here. Lolly Lolly would want you to come help your mother. Uh, Aww. Her ankle. Lolly, Lolly gets what Lolly wants, Holden. Yes. Lo yeah. You, Lolly's, Lolly's. You don't a, talk back to Lolly Lolly. That's right. Right, Lolly? She, she gets she, what she wants. I was a little worried she was going to... What? No. She would tell you what to do. She, was, she would definitely would tell me what to do. She would. She put you in your place. She is so sweet. I love having her on here. <laughs> Lolly, I encourage talking back. <laughs> I, we know you do, Lolly. <laughs> Lolly is the boss. On, on YouTube, she is the boss. She's a good boss, too. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking, Matthew? I think it looks good. I think, you know, um, left hand, right hand, ambidextrous. Upside down, and, sideways. Upside down, sideways. I'm doing is. the best I can. Do you, need any, do you need any water? I would love some water. Holden has some. Oh. He can spray it for you. You can do the drippy drip. Oh, no, I don't want... He doesn't, there's none in there. I don't want it on the painting. I don't spray it all the way. I'm just having a good time. Okay. Anybody have any questions? I figure I should sign off, though. I'm not sure how long it's been. We were so late getting on here. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties. Because usually YouTube picture is better than Facebook, but Facebook's got a great picture tonight. Well, Can good. really see the detail really well on Facebook. Good. I'm so glad. Betty, we have we have three huge crepe myrtles in our front yard and one in our backyard. Um, they do really well here. They flower all summer. I love crepe myrtles. Yeah, they're really big. They're they're like twenty. Oh, I, well, let me know. They're they're fifteen to twenty foot tall. Well, they were yard. as high as the roof over the roof when we moved in. Yeah, they're about fifteen, back. maybe fifteen, a little fifteen feet. But we've been on for about thirty minutes. 37 minutes or so. Okay. Thank you, Betty and Rob. Uh, what color is our crib myrtle? We have the We have red. the red ones. We red have the dark red ones. Dark red, yes. Our house is white, so it 
just really sets off the white really well. Uh, Lolly, Solly, Lolly says, will you take a pic and post later, please? Of the crepe myrtles or of this? I think of that is what she's referring to. Let's see what she says. Val Ward says, Purdy. You know, I'll tell you what I do need. Is what do you need? I need my liner brush now and some white highlights. And the picture, not tree, she says. Okay, yes, I will. I gotta gotta get finished here, but I want some white. So what brush are you using right now? This is the icon. Icon? Yep. This was one of our brand new ones. We have uh, added some liner brushes into the hobbyist collection. Oh, Betty says crepe myrtles are called the lilacs of the south. Oh. Thank you, Betty. I didn't know that. So maybe we do have lilac trees then. Well, it's a bush. It's true. It grows from the from the ground. And See, we can when when we trim back our crepe myrtles, they don't grow from the ground. They, you know, because you can trim it. We you're supposed to trim them back in the spring. And wherever you trim them is where they grow from. So you can train them to be a tree. Which is or maybe they're just different varieties. I don't know. This is an interesting conversation because... So you're saying we have lilac trees out front? No, and I'm I saying they we were... have crepe myrtle trees, but she's saying they're called the lilac tree of the... lilac of the south. Okay. Good night, Karen. Thank you for joining. Good night, Karen. Okay, I think I'm going to let all this set up before I go any further. But when I get it done, hopefully tomorrow, I will post it for you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And Rohini Grant, good evening from we, we wow, Whidbey, Whidbey Island. Weeby. Weeby? I don't know. I can't no, see it. W H I D. -E all right, I'm signing up. Wid Bay. Wid Bay. Oh, that's all I, I can't see. Are you signing off? Yeah, oh, I'm we done. Are. We're done? Yeah, I just, I can't see to sign off. Can you help me with the, with this one, please? All right, everybody. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you, Callie. Thanks for letting you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you. You're trying to subscribe to the journal. Okay, sweetie, what are you having trouble with? Are you having trouble subscribing? Let me help you, Irma. So, um, this is, so far, what I have done. Yes. So are you at the turquoisirisjournal.com? I'm gonna add a few more details over here on the side, but I really need my layers to kind of set up for a little bit before I go any further. She's tried three times. All right. Um, I wonder what is going on. Is it giving, is it taking you right back up to the front? Feel free to email me, Papa. Send me that Facebook friend request, Lisa Thompson Dixon. Yes. Hmm. Take it back to the front of the page. I would say try. Thank you, Evolving Blessed. I appreciate you. Um, I would say email me, Dion at the turquoiseiris.com, and I will help you. Um, we will get right on it, I promise, and help you. And also, you might try on a different device. And there may, it may just be getting stuck in some sort of cycle, but I would try doing it on a different device as well. Um, but we will, pr I promise I'll help you. Promise we'll make you get, we'll, we'll make sure you get set up. Um, Lolly, Lolly, thank you for posting that link. I appreciate you. All right. Take care, everybody. Good night.